Now back with us on Pet Corner to talk about the importance of weight management for our dogs is Yukonuba's pet nutrition advisor, Peter Schiesel, with Humphrey. Morning to you both. Good morning. So you swapped out Buster. Last time we had Buster, now we've got Humphrey. That's right. Buster's not feeling 100%, but we've got the wonderful Humphrey to fill in. He looks right at home on the sofa, might I he say. He does. So why do Pretty we talk happy. about weight? Well, according to the um, Companion Animal Report of 2016, 30% of cats and 40% of dogs are considered obese. Yeah, it sounds about right, looking yep. at my household of animals. Yeah, yep. pretty pretty big numbers. Mm. Easy to get depressed about those. But don't forget about the um, positive impact of, uh, of, of weight management. So keeping our dogs really healthy weights means that they're less stress on their joints um, and their hearts as well. And by keeping them healthy, um, keeping them in the best shape. Yeah, exactly, which is what we want. We want them to live as long as they possibly can. So how can we tell if our dog needs more attention when it comes to the whole weight management thing? Yeah, sure. Well, we've got Humphrey here for a little demonstration. So we'll do a um, body condition score with him. Humphrey, do you want to come down on the floor? It's your time to shine, Humphrey. Come on. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, Humphrey. So is this Good what your vet nurse could do or could you do it? So your vet... Or your vet nurse will give you um, more information on this. But yeah. what I'm going to do is just give you sort of three things that you can look at. Okay. So that'll make it really easy to do it at home. Anyone can do it. Great way to keep keep control of what's going on okay, with your so pet. Okay, so there's a problem, right. Yeah, so first of all, hang on a little Humphrey. You want to look at your pet from the side, from a distance, and you want to have a nice abdominal tuck up in here. That's number one. Right, so not, not a hanging pouch. <laughs> Ideally not a hanging pouch, Got that's it. right. Uh, two, you want to be looking down on your pet and you want them to have a nice little waist. Oh, hello. Do you want a little treat? Oh, hello. I've been so good. Oh, you've been so good. There you go. I do have them in my hand, so that's a bit mean. <laughs> okay, up you get. Standing up. So when you're looking down at them, you want them to have a nice little waist in here. Yeah. And then number three is you get really hands on. So. What we use, we use what we call a feather touch, and so you run your hands down their sides, and you want to be able to feel the lumps of their ribs. Right. Okay. Yep. Hey. Well done, Humphrey. Good boy, Humphrey. Well done. So tell me about the Yukonuba nine-point scale. Yeah. So at Yukonuba, we use the nine-point scale, whereas four and five are sort of your ideal weight. Mm -hmm. And um, and you can see he's he's a pretty good weight here. Yeah. Um, but lots of people use either a five-point scale. Any scale is fine. You just want something that you can sort of relate to and. Um, and compare to say what the scales are showing you. Okay, so what can we do? Hey Humphrey, come on, Humphrey, over here buddy. Humphrey, oh. look at what can we do? So first of all, a, uh, a low calorie diet is a great place to start, yeah. but um, it doesn't have to be a negative thing, weight management. So you're allowed to treat your pets, we all do it, yeah. but um, it's just sort of, you might want to swap out those calories at dinner time for the calories during the day, and making sure that no more than 10% of their daily um, sort of treats Okay, so don't be feeding them treats continually. That's not going to be a good That's idea. That's right. Yeah, no okay. more than 10%. So is there anything else we should consider? So the way we in interact with our dogs is really important. So if we can set them up to naturally be more active, mm. then it's going to really help with their um, long-term weight management. Like So taking them for a walk? Exactly. Outside with a ball, that sort of thing? Yeah, lots of playing. Also um, interacting with their food can also help. So sort of you can scatter their kibble if you want, making them think really? about their food. Yeah, absolutely. So you actually make them work for their food? Exactly. That's exactly. interesting. I didn't realise that about dogs. Yeah, they love these sorts of things. It's a great way to get their minds, minds active as well. Okay. So hide, sort of like hide it a little bit around yeah, the bed. Yeah, absolutely. There's lots of toys you can sort of stuff treats, treats or their dinner in. Yep. Excellent, cool. Well, hey, well, thank you so much for joining us, Peter. And Humphrey, you've been a very good boy. You can come back any time. Uh, <laughs> if you are at home wondering if you should try your dog on Yukonuba, don't forget there is a 100% money-back guarantee. And Yukonuba are giving away to our cafe viewers a $20 voucher off your next purchase of Yukonuba Dry Food. To download the voucher, go to yukonuba.co.nz slash the cafe.